when we are seeing the world, in fact, we are seeing the Paramatma. When we are seeing the world, we are seeing the light. When we are seeing the light, we are seeing the electricity. When we see the world, we are seeing the eyes. When we are seeing the eyes, we are seeing the mind. When we are seeing the mind, we are the consciousness. But the problem is, we are preoccupied in objectivity. Objectivity is that knowledge which is called as mind. And knowledge without objectivity is consciousness. Bhagavan Shankara says, Chittam chitcha vijaniya takara rahito yada, takara rahitam yada, takaro vishaya dhyasaha japa ragao yada manau. Chitta, mind, chitta is essentially chit consciousness. When you delete the ta, now those who know how to write in Devanagari, how chitta is written chi rasva, the uh, matra, and then half ta and then full ta. Remove the full ta, what remains? The chit. And what is the ta? Takaro vishaya dhyasa. Ta is the illusion of objectivity. This very subtle thought, friends, be attentive. Vision eliminates all colors and forms, which are many. But vision doesn't have any color or any form. Vision is the cause, colors and forms are the effects. Can the effects exist without the cause? So what are all the colors and forms? Colors and forms are nothing but grossified vision. See? And therefore, colors and forms cannot eliminate the vision. But vision can eliminate the colors and forms. Next step. All the sense organs are effects. And the mind behind them is the cause. Sense organs are limited in their own field. Eyes only the colors and form, ears only the sounds. But the mind eliminates everything. So mind is subtle, the cause, and sense organs are effect, the gross. So what is the spiritual practice? Leave the gross, come to the subtle. See, then mind is gross because multiple thoughts, objectivity, but a pure consciousness is the cause. No multiplicity, no thoughts. Mind is constantly changing, consciousness is not changing. Deko Mahatma Ho. Vikshamane prapanchepi, although we are seeing the world of names and forms, we are essentially seeing Paramatma. So what is our problem? We are seeing Paramatma, but calling it as the world. We are seeing Paramatma, but we start calling as the jiva. We are Paramatma, but we are pushing him away, Ishvara, Paroksha. When we call names to somebody, we will get appreciation or the punishment. See? In the same manner, when Paramatma is abused, 
He is called as Jiva Jagat Ishwar. So Jiva Jagat Ishwara is an is an abuse inflicted on the Paramatma. And as a result, we suffer. Vikshamane Prapanchepi Brahmai Vabhati Bhasuram. Unless this vision is corrected, our imagination of spiritual practice is only struggle, struggle, struggle.